Balassi once again on the ball, trying to get past the defender. He does so. And 10, the shot. What an amazing goal from Balassi in the 57th minute. If you guys do want to support me and get some coins, go ahead and check out the link in the description below and use the code Jani at checkout. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Jani Sports, and welcome back to the Crystal Palace career mode. Guys, as this is Saturday, if we reach 800 likes, I will be uploading a My Player episode later on today. And we will start off this episode with the question from the last one. I asked you guys if I should buy a left back, and most of you guys said yes. And you have also suggested that I should mainly try and get Suare into the team because he joined Crystal Palace in real life as well. So I offered them 3 million and now it's the turn of his team to decide if they want to sell him or not. And today in our first game we are playing in the semi-final of the Capital One Cup and Yusuf Palzin is making his first appearance for Crystal Palace. As you guys know, at full potential, Yusuf Palzin is my favorite striker in this game. So we will now see if he is good enough with a 69 rating. But let's get to this game. Nathan Redmond over on the right hand side, crossing it in. It is Bolassi tipping it in in the 17th minute. This should have not been a goal. Take a look at this. I don't know what the goalkeeper is doing right there. Manchester United, unfortunately for them, going down 1-0. But after that, it was only Manchester United attacking the whole time. So, I was only defending. And Rooney, with one of the biggest chances of this game so far for Manchester United. And in the second half, they just continued to attack. As you can see right here, Spironi luckily didn't have to do anything about that one. But of course, they were still pushing forward from Percy. It is now once again Daily Blint on the ball, passing it to Mata Mata to Fellaini, who is the last guy I expected to score from a goal like that. I expect him to score headers, but that was a very nice run from him. And Manchester United, of course, deserved to score that goal because they were the team attacking the whole time. But right here, we are in the 81st minute. Dwight Gale getting the ball off Fellaini. The guy who scored could have been the unluckiest guy on the pitch right there. But Dwight Gale misses that one. 90th minute. Once again, Dwight Gale still has a lot of pace in him. I do see someone at the bottom of my screen. It is Punchin. Punchin gets to it and he scores the goal in the 90th minute. What an amazing pass from Dwight Gale and Punchin, the guy who also got subbed into the game, is deciding this one. What an amazing pass that was and perfectly timed shot from Punchin to score that one against Manchester United and we are winning this and we are through to the Capital One Cup Final and Redmond has been playing really well in this game I'm just waiting for this guy to finally score a goal for this team because he has only scored like one or two in this season if I'm not mistaken and Redmond is a guy that is improving a lot but as you can see boys I have made offers for Eric Durm, Ali Adnan and Papa Suare and none of them got accepted so I went ahead and offered Ward plus money and now it's just time to see which left back will be joining our team our next opponent was Swansea City which is a team I always thought of doing a career mode on but this time I decided to go with Crystal Palace let's see if that was the right decision well, you can call that an immediate answer from Montero. What a strike that was from him. What a powerful shot. And it is Swansea 1, Crystal Palace 0 at the moment. And they are keeping on attacking. And as you can see, Speroni really trying his best to get the ball out of the defensive area. And once again, Speroni saves the team from conceding another goal. But as you can see, boys, it is only Swansea City attacking. And on top of that, Montero gets his second goal in for Swansea City. And that was devastating. We were playing in an away game and I didn't want to see anything like this happen to my team. Redmond, Paulson, and I think someone like Punchin or Zaha joined into the game but as you can see Gale with the pass and it is a goal for Crystal Palace but sadly that was an offside MacArthur was offside and that means this game will be ending 
2-0 for Swansea City. I thought the comeback was on after that goal, but sadly it was offside. And this is a very devastating loss for our team. We are on the transfer deadline day, the last nine hours to go. And as you can see, Borussia Dortmund don't want to sell Eric Durm. It is only Rizespor accepting our offer for Ali Adnan and that means we will have to go with the 71 rated 21 year old left back from Iraq I believe but this guy has some insane stats and I'm sure he will be a key player in our career mode now we have signed Paulsen for the striking position Flanagan for the right back position and now Ali Adnan for the left back position and I also do need one more center back for this team because Moore is only on loan. So I decided to go ahead and ask for Omeru because this guy seems to be a very nice center back talent. He's only 21 years old, so I'm hoping to get him into the team from Middlesbrough for four years, 7k, and he accepted it. And boys, I do really hope that you can see from these transfers that I'm planning on doing a long career mode with Crystal Palace. It just depends on your support if this video or better said this series gets a really good support as it has so far. I will be keeping on posting this because I really want to see these players grow. They are not the best yet. We might have downgraded on a lot of position at the moment. But I do think that in the future, this team will be able to compete on the highest level and maybe get to the BPL title one day. And now, just talking about staying at Crystal Palace, I do get an offer from Liverpool who are a team that I do really love watching in the BPL together with Arsenal. And I would love to join them and play for them, but I will be the man of my words and stick to Crystal Palace. Obviously, we are doing much better than Liverpool. At this point, we nearly have the double amount of their points. So why go to Liverpool when Crystal Palace is doing so well at the moment? I love this team and now we have changed it up a little bit. We are struggling to get used to it, but we will start off this game against Leicester City with our left back Adnan. Shooting the first free kick for his team would have been amazing if he could have scored from that one And actually finally we do have a free kick taker in our team with Adnan because no one else is able to take decent free kicks Hopefully he'll be able to turn into Iraqi Roberto Carlos for us But as you can see Leicester City do score the first goal of this match and right after that I was like fuck I I'm not doing really well right here I'm really doing bad in this episode except for the Manchester United game so I did go ahead and try my best in all the attacking matters but sadly so far after two attacks I wasn't able to do anything so it was time for a change Dwight Gale and Punchin the heroes from the Manchester United game joined into this one and as you can see Inks is still in the game he now passes it to the left hand side and is punching on the ball passing it inside to Gale Gale is through he could take the shot passes it to Ruben Neves who then gets the goal all three substitutes were on the ball in the last attack and they got the goal and that means we are getting the draw against Leicester City in the last split second of the game and that is a very nice result because I surely didn't want to lose and sadly in that game Yusuf Paulsen got injured for three weeks which means I will be able to play players like Campbell Gale Sanogo in the striking position for the next three weeks because all of them are on a 71 rating and I do want to see which one of them is the best obviously Gale has scored a lot of really important goals for us this season Danny Inks in sixth position for the top scoring list Rooney in first place and that is it for today guys hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching smash the like button and take care guys see you later on today hopefully peace